Hi everyone. Welcome to Study Windows. And welcome to our first session of force. Let's start. We play guitar. When we play guitar, what do we do? We simply push and pull the string by our fingers. And very beautiful sound comes. And this pushing and pulling is nothing but the force on the string. And every day we do lot of activities like door opening, door closing. So what do we do here? We apply the force on the handle. So let's explore force. So do you have any idea what exactly force? We open the door and we close the door. We play carom. We play football. And see the woodpecker? How it is making hole on the tree? When we open the door, if you see closely, you will see we are just pulling the door. And when we close the door, we simply push the door. In case of carom, striker hits and it is nothing but push. In case of kick a ball, it is also push. So we do lot of activities in our day to day life like kicking, hitting, opening, lifting, pulling, pushing, picking. If you analyze all these our actions, you will see these are nothing but pulling or pushing. And this is a ball and she is hitting the ball. This is nothing but pushing. So she is pushing the ball. Let's see how it works. Let us look closer. This is the ball and she is hitting here and this ball or the object is moving away. So this is nothing but push. And look at this. The carriage is coming closer. How it is coming? Because horse is bringing it closer. If we remove the horse for understanding, we will see the object is coming closer. Why it is coming closer? It is nothing but pull. So this is an object and this is push and here it is pull. So we can say this push or pull is nothing but force. Now the ball is kept on the desk. Is the ball moving? No. Ball is not moving. But if she interact and hit then it moves. So force means also interaction. Without interaction you cannot get the force. Here's the example. See, he interacts with the ball and gives to his friend. Now he also interacts and and apply a force on the ball and give it to his friend. Hence, force can be defined based on push, pull, and interaction. So we can define force like a force is a push or pull upon an object. When one object interacts with another object. So it is push 
or pull and interaction with another object so this is force force means it can move an object you have force applied and the apple moves it can stop an object look at this ball is moving now if we apply a force it is stopped it can change the shape of an object this is a bottle now if we apply force look at this shape of the bottle is changed so force helps to change the shape of an object it can change the speed look at this ball it is moving slowly now due to the force ball moves faster it can change the direction look at this ball is moving in this direction now we apply force in different direction and ball moves in another direction now for example she is lifting the apple do you think any force is there she lifted like this so what she did we know there's a gravitational force and it is always acts towards the center of the earth she is moving the apple against the gravitation so this is a force and gravitation itself is a force now there is a table and we keep a ball now if you don't push or pull the ball do you think the ball will move not really ball will not move but why because there is a gravitational force acting down and the stable or the surface it is also giving a force opposite to the gravitational force and it is called normal force and these two forces are equal hence the ball will not move so this gravitational force and normal force these also are kinds of force see this ball and we apply some force on the ball and up to certain distance the ball will stop so why the ball is stopped because there is a resistance of the surface against the ball this resistance is known as friction and this force is known as frictional force and we will learn all this force in our next session another example we will take this is a car and it is moving do you know why the car is moving here because engine is applying a force on the car and the car is moving check out our newly launched website www.studywindows.com do you want to learn advanced level be ready and stay tuned and thank you so much see you in the next video